Hello, I will show you how you can confirm if your car does have vacuum leak just by using simple OBD code reader. So I think the easiest way to demonstrate it will be with this Photoshop illustration and then I will also show it to you on real car. Ok, so we have simple illustration, we have the engine, we have air intake, MAF sensor which is measuring amount of air coming in and then we have exhaust system with oxygen sensor monitoring also amount of air that is exiting your engine through the exhaust. Engine is idling, we have RPM 800. Ok, and here I have the graph for fuel trims. You can find your fuel trim in live data stream. You can either display it with graph but it is not necessary, you can just look at text value. So what are the fuel trims? You have two types of fuel trims. You probably already saw it on your scan tool. You have short term fuel trim displayed in percentage. And then you have long term fuel trim also displayed in percentage. If your car is healthy, you want to see both of them around 0%. So in our case, the engine idling, everything is okay with the engine. The long term fuel trim will be very close to zero. And our short term fuel trim will also stay close to zero. It may fluctuate a bit around positive and negative value. That is because car is switching between rich and lean condition constantly, which is better for catalytic converter, but it shouldn't exceed plus or minus 5%, let's say. Okay, so for a good healthy engine, you want to see your fuel trims between minus 5% and plus 5%. You don't want to see anything less or more. Okay, and now what the percentage means? The fuel trim percentage means the correction of fuel amount. So if you see 5%, that means that your engine is using 5% of extra fuel. So total of 105%. If the fuel trim is 0%, your engine is using exactly 100% of fuel. There is no deduction of fuel and and that is no addition of, of fuel. Okay, so what is the vacuum leak? The vacuum leak, for example, can be the hole in your air intake. So let's say your air intake hose will get damaged and now you have a hole in your air intake. See, this will be the vacuum leak. An engine is sucking the air, so now you will have extra air sucked also through this vacuum leak. Ok, so what happens now? Before the vacuum leak we had the 100% of air coming in the engine and that was matched with 100% of fuel since we have zero fuel trims for healthy engine. That means 100% of fuel is being used. Ok, let me put it in. So 100% of air. But now with this vacuum leak we have more air coming in. For example, let's say extra 30%. And that air is being sucked after the mass airflow sensor, so your engine doesn't know about that. But immediately when this air comes through the engine in the exhaust, the oxygen sensor will pick up that there is more air coming in. And it will send command for your engine control module to increase fuel amount. Because now we have 100% of fuel or 130% of air. So the engine knows that it needs 30% addition of fuel. So what will happen with your fuel trim? The short term fuel trim will start increasing to 30%. And now your air to fuel ratio is okay again because you have extra 30% of fuel for that extra 30% of air that comes because of vacuum leak. And now what long term fuel trim does, the short term fuel trim is like this scout, it is finding out how much extra fuel your engine needs. And once it finds this value, the long term will start to follow it. Then it will be set on that 30%. And once the long term fuel trim is set, the short term will drop back to 0%. So basically that means that now new baseline of fuel is 130%. Check it out, we have short term fuel trim 30% and once it sets to one number, the long term fuel trim will quickly adjust to 30% and short term fuel trim will get back to zero. And if you would get now one more vacuum leak, then again the short term fuel trim start to increase. 
And for example, if the 20% more fuel is needed, that would mean that the long term would have to increase by another 20% to set new baseline. Once it finds this long term fuel amount it can stick to to achieve the good air to fuel ratio, the short term fuel trim can again drop to zero and oscillate around that zero percent. So that is how your fuel trim works, but what does it have to do with our engine vacuum leak? Well, let me go back with these fuel trims. So what happened with our example? Let me just brush it off a bit. So in our example, we have 130% of air coming in, which is being compensated by extra fuel because engine is increasing the fuel trim. Now, when you look on your scanner and you can see the 30% fuel trim, there is a simple test which you can do to confirm that you have vacuum leak. And that is just increase the RPM. Okay, let's say you increase the RPM to 5000. So by increasing your RPM by six times, you will have your throttle will open. There will be more air coming in your engine. So for example, now you can have like 600% of air coming in instead of previous 100%. But the air coming in your vacuum leak will be still only 30%. Now that means that Previously, when we have 100% of air, this vacuum leak was adding extra 30% of air. But when we have 600% of air coming in, now this vacuum leak isn't that significant. It is responsible only maybe for 3-4% of extra air. So that means when we increase the RPM, we should also see both of our fuel trims drop to either to zero or close to zero. When you let the pedal go, we again will have 800 RPM, again only 100% of air coming in, and your fuel trim will get back to that 30% or, or whichever value you have. You can be sure that you have vacuum leak in your vehicle. If I press on the gas pedal and engine will get more air anyway, the fuel trims should start to drop. See, I press the pedal and fuel trims drops to zero. That confirms that we have vacuum leak. When I press that gas pedal, the throttle is open. There is way more air coming in. So even when I have vacuum leak, it will not show on scanner because now that vacuum leak isn't that significant. It is responsible only for a small portion of extra air. Check it, check it out again. I will press the gas pedal. See, and fuel trims will get to normal. But when I let vehicle idle, the 30% extra fuel is needed to compensate for that extra air coming in. Now how to find out where that vacuum leak is? Best way to do that is just by the smoke machine. There are the smoke machines, so you can smoke your intake and you will see by the smoke where is your hole or where is the damage in your air intake system. I will link one of the smoke machine in the description, you can check it out. By the way, if you want to save money on buying a scanner, I have completely free PDF which you can download. This complete guide will explain all scanner's functions and also list out the best picks that are really greatest value for money, starting from $15. You can download it in link in description and that will also sign you up for my newsletter. So you will also receive future best scanners I will find.